everyone welcome to sql problem solving series so you might have solved this problem in mathematics a lot of many times so this problem is based on calculating distance between two different coordinate points so you can see onto my screen the problem says consider two points p1 and p2 are two points and their x and y coordinates are a comma c so p1 x coordinate is a and the y coordinate is c and similarly p2 x coordinate is b and y coordinate is d and these are two points on a 2d plane where a comma b are respective minimum and maximum values of northern latitude so into the problem they have mentioned what is a what is b and similarly what is c and what is d so c and d are respective minimum and maximum values of western longitude and here we need to calculate the equilibrium distance now please don't run away by listening this particular term this is a very simple term and the formula is very much simple to calculate the equilibrium distance between two different points so i'll be moving to the wikipedia page for the equilibrium distance so you can see for example there are two different points p1 and p2 and q1 and q2 similarly as in our case so we have two points here p1 and p2 so let us assume for example these two points are p1 and p2 so what is the equilibrium distance between these two points so we have this particular formula here so this is known as the equilibrium distance so it is square root of and then we would need to subtract the x coordinates and square them and add up to the square of the difference of the y coordinates and we need to sum this and provide this into the square root thing and this is known as the equilibrium distance so the formula is very much simple so we need to calculate the equilibrium distance in sql using the difference kind of sql function of all we would need to go on to calculate a b c d values here which are mentioned here so according to the problem only we would proceed so what is a according to the problem so a comma b so a is the minimum northern latitude value so i would just mention this here minimum northern latitude value and this is a Similarly, what is B? So B is the maximum value of the northern latitude. So I would also mention this. So this is B. And similarly, what is C? So C is the minimum value of the western longitude. And this is C. And similarly, D is the maximum value of the western longitude. And after this we need to provide this this should come from the table and the table name is station that's all let us first of all run the code and see what is the output which we are getting so you can see we have got our a b c and d values so a is the x coordinate of p1 and b is the x coordinate of p2 so we need to subtract both of these values and we need to apply the formula which we have seen here so we need to apply the similar formula and we need to calculate the equilibrium distance so let us proceed here itself so first of all i would get a difference of both of these values so it is justified that the maximum values would definitely be greater than the minimum value so i would subtract maximum from the minimum value and then we need to square this off so i would just provide this into a bracket and similarly so this is our x1 minus x2 thing which is provided here likewise q1 minus p1 so we are doing here uh, q1 minus p1 or b minus a as in this particular case and similarly we would be doing we would be subtracting this maximum value from the minimum value and this would accommodate as the y1 minus y2 into the equilibrium distance and i would put this into brackets here and i would remove this d and c terms from here that's all that's all is required and so this corresponds to q2 minus p2 and then we need to square this off so to square this off either we can multiply this value with itself or we can use the exponential function different exponential functions which are present here but to make this very much simple i would multiply this number with itself so it would definitely mean that we are squaring these numbers here so that's all is required and then we would again put this into the bracket and our values have been squared here so you can see we have 
subtracted both these numbers we have squared also and similarly we have subtracted both these numbers and we have squared here now we need to provide this plus sign or we need to add both of these values so i would go on to add both of these values by providing the plus sign here so you can see we have got our answer now at the last at the last what do we need we need to provide the square root here so to provide the square root we have the formula sqrt so i would provide this sqrt here and i would provide everything inside the bracket here and at the very last it is telling that format your answer to display decimal digits four digits after the decimal place so we would need to provide the round function here and how much digits we need to round it off or the answer it is up to four decimal places at the very last after doing all of these things we need to hit the run code button let us see if we are getting our correct answer or not so you can see we have got our correct answer and this is how we solved the entire or calculated the Euclidean distance into just entire single line of equation by using the different mathematical formulas, mathematical concepts and using the different formulas which are present into SQL. So we have calculated Euclidean distance a lot of many times during our school sessions but here we calculated using the SQL function. So friends I hope you have found this video very much useful so please like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meeting the next video thank you so much bye